Wearable tech, what exactly is it? Fitbit, Apple Watch, Samsung Gear. You might have one of these devices on your wrist right now. They look a lot like regular watches, but they do a lot more than just tell time. Wearable tech refers to a type of high-tech device that you could wear as an article of clothing or an accessory. For example, a watch, a bracelet, pendants, shoes, shirts. Wearable tech today is very popular for fitness tracking, but it can actually be categorized into four broad market categories. You've got fitness or wellness, there's healthcare, infotainment, and then there's industrial or military use cases. The goal of wearable technology is to simplify tasks, increase productivity, provide data, and also to provide entertainment. Well, as the term implies, the device rests on your body and it's worn by a user. It has sensors and a power source, and that wearable device then generates data or it tracks different metrics. Now, most devices are going to focus on a specific metric or related set of metrics and data, like heart rate or physical activity or maybe blood glucose levels. The sensors are normally embedded in the device at strategic areas where they can be best used and can be effective. The information is collected by sensors, and then what's collected is then either displayed or transmitted via the internet using an application. The data that can be displayed to the user in a way that's really easy to understand and utilize. Now, broadly speaking, wearable tech is a part of the Internet of Things, or IoT. Fitness trackers are the most popular use of wearable technology today. And many of these devices can tell you how much physical activity you've had, how many calories you've burned, your peak heart rates, and more. The information is not just useful to the end user, but it can also be useful to industries and businesses. For example, in insurance, wearable tech can provide insights into the lifestyles of customers. It can relay accurate, real-time information from insurers or claims investigators to assist in claims processing. And it can also give a genuine insight into the actual behavioral patterns of wearers. So instead of estimating, insurers can analyze the data to calculate risk levels for individual and group health insurance plans with a far higher degree of accuracy. Wearables could also play a role in workers' compensation for rehabilitation monitoring and return to work criteria. Another use of wearables is in healthcare. Doctors, as an example, can get their diabetic patients to wear devices that track their blood sugar levels, or a patient with a heart condition can track their blood pressure. These devices can then send alerts to caretakers when there are medical emergencies, and this could potentially save lives. Now, for fun, virtual reality glasses and headsets have brought video games to the next level. This provides players with a, a simulated environment that looks and feels like the real thing. You might remember Google Glass. This was a really interesting evolution in wearable tech, and it could do a lot of things that computers and smartphones can do, like check your email or take pictures, surf the web for information. But Google Glass didn't exactly become popular because there were various issues and concerns about privacy. Now, wearable cameras provide instant streaming capability. The GoPro, for example, is really popular with adventurers. In industrial wearables, instant streaming of video from body cameras is very useful for police and military in the field. The research firm Statista estimates that worldwide sales of wearable devices will be just over 26 billion US dollars in 2018 but that's going to balloon to more than 73 billion US dollars by 2022. Now, according to Accenture, almost two thirds of insurers expect wearable technologies to have a significant impact on the industry within the next year. And 31% are already using them to engage customers, employees, and partners. There are already some emerging trends for other types of wearable devices in this space. For example, wearable payments, Fitbit, Apple Watch, Garmin, smartwatches, they now allow you to make payments directly from those devices. And Bank West, an Australian bank, has launched a ring that they call Halo. 
and that works just like a contactless payment card. But perhaps in the future, wearables could replace credit cards and smartphones for digital payments. Other emerging trends include smart clothing, hearables, stress-busting wearables, and wearable AI. Organizations are beginning to take advantage of the wearable technology trend to improve the customer experience and subsequently their bottom line profits. Carnival Cruise Lines has the Ocean Medallion. It's a token that you can wear on your wrist, on a chain, or you can carry it in your pocket. The Ocean Medallion is issued to customers once they board the cruise ship and it can be used to make dinner reservations, check in and out of rooms so that the cleaning crew can be alerted when to clean the rooms, and you can pay for goods and services all over the ship. Now, as with any technology, there are always potential issues like privacy and user data security and inaccuracy of data. For example, Fitbit was hit with a class action lawsuit that was filed by customers who said that the gadget's measurements were wildly and dangerously far off. Now, it does seem that marketers and consumers in this space believe that the opportunities outweigh the risks, and the number of wearable tech devices being developed will continue to increase right along with the number of organizations and users that are leveraging this technology. It won't be long before we start to see more emerging wearable tech trends, and they'll become mainstream. Manufacturers will have to not only improve the technology, but also figure out how to make these wearables more fashionable and discreet. In fact, who knows? There might be a future where some of these wearables actually become embedded in us, or maybe become a part of us. It's certainly an exciting adventure.